Hi everyone, I haven't made a video for ages, so I wanted to do a quick one talking about how to deal with the strain on the VGA port of your mister. So here's a typical mister, all pretty normal VGA port, and I've got the S-Video and Composite adapter from Antonio Villena, I really like it. Uh, it's a good unit. Check out my other video, the card's at the top of the screen right now if you wanna learn more about this adapter. Now the difficulty is with any Mr. add-on like this, you plug it into the VGA and that's right there. That's a bit of an issue. And then if you take it the next step further, put a cable in, pull it, it's even got more force down there. So also it's a little bit difficult because there's no screws here on this particular adapter. It's hard to get them in just due to the nature of this design. So today I'm gonna to show you three quick ideas that I use for trying to avoid the strain on the VGA port. Let's go. So the first thing you can try is just propping it up with something. Uh, it's kind of tricky to find something that's exactly the right length, but I happened upon this 8-bit dough receiver. This is for the PC Engine version. Uh, some of the smaller adapters are this size and it just fits nicely under there. So if you wanna take, it takes the strain away, bada boom, bada bing, no more strain problems. Hey. The next thing you might wanna do is just run a VGA extension cable. So it's gonna come out there and use a regular VGA cable. Keep in mind that a regular VGA cable, you might need this gender changer on the end to make them work, but I mean, this'll do the job. It's not really my favorite uh, because the, look, there's a lot here and you can see that's already kind of very easily tipping over your mister. But this is using some sort of VGA extension cable. Maybe you find found a short one or something like this. That's another possible solution to the problem. Finally, the last solution, and actually has been my go-to for the last few weeks, is this right-angled VGA adapter. So what we're gonna do here is instead position the output adapter downwards instead. So ooh, there we go. So it goes on like that, and then we're gonna put it in there. It's nice, it has the screws that are easy to access, so we get a nice tight fit there. And then, where is it? Run it off the bottom of the table push it in, that's good. That's got nice strain relief happening there. It feels good, it feels nice and tight, but you've probably already seen a couple of the drawbacks of this method. First of all, it's got to hang over the edge of the table because it goes down longer than the mister. And also, if you can see there, it's also blocking the HDMI port so you can't use two at once. Nevertheless, when I just need a straight up, uh, you know, just a straight up use S video without any HDMI, this has recently been my go-to solution because I have found it is the strongest solution so far. So that's my quick video. My favorite is actually this one. I got this little adapter here and it's really, if you pull on that, it doesn't come out. It's actually really solid. And if you go like that, you can see sort of your, the force is much better distributed. But then what you've got to do is put it on the side of a table. And if you look in that, you can't really get access to your HDMI port. So take it as you will. This is my go-to. I'm thinking about maybe there's another solution where what you can do is instead, maybe we can get some adapters, turn it that way. Uh, and run the cable off the front. That might also work if you use two right angle adapters. Check it out. Thanks for the video today. I got more coming soon. See you soon.